Hi, I'm Paul Modiano from Logical Developers, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use IronSpeed Designer's cell editor to add custom ASP.NET tags to pages. So what I have here is a simple demo application based on the uh, Southwind sample database that comes with IronSpeed Designer. And I'm going to use this application to illustrate how we can add custom ASP objects using the cell editor to a form. So if we look at the generated application and go as we have to the orders table control and we drill down into an order you could see that it displays the customer all that information and order details table which is empty over here but what I want to focus in on is the order date and the ship date both of which are uh, text boxes. Let's say I wanted to use something different, uh, something that is not natively used in Iron Speed. Well, uh, I'll show you how to do it. Now, suppose instead of text boxes for the order date and ship date, we wanted to substitute an ASP.NET calendar control. Well, if we look here in our toolbox, we could see our AJAX items and underneath that we have our ASPX items and one of them is the calendar control. We'd start by dragging our calendar control into our order date uh, cell and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call I'm gonna rename this CC order date. I'm also gonna drag another one directly underneath ship date and I'm gonna rename that CC ship date. My next step is to make the original order date control invisible. And how am I gonna do that? I'm gonna go into properties and I'm gonna change the visibility to false. I'm gonna do the same thing for our ship date. So the last thing we have to do is introduce code that sets our calendar control order date and calendar control ship date controls to the right date, which they have to pull from the invisible order date and ship date fields. We're going to do this by going into the edit orders ASPX VB, which is in my case, it might be a C sharp file if you're doing it. And I'm going to paste in some text and explain what it does, some code and let's look at this code. So first thing I'm doing is I'm setting uh, I'm uh, dimensioning a, a CC order date as a calendar control and what does it equal to? Well I needed to find it on the page so I'm using a C type me find recursively find control recursively the CC order date and I specify exactly what it is a system web UI web controls calendar and I do the same for ship date. I also set a new variable order date as a text box being equal to the order date I have on my page. Same thing with ship date. Now that I, all of those things are initialized, I can say that CC order date dot visible date that that sets the month that it's looking at and the year to equal to conversion to convert to date whatever date is in our text box. The next thing I say CC order date dot selected date and that is the means by which it would show the specific day uh, and I set that to C date convert to date of the order date dot text. And I do the same thing with CC ship date in both cases. Let's run it and see what it looks like. Do I want to save? Yes. So back to our application, I'm going to click on a record and it's going to display the record. And here it is. And you can see that it is giving me the month and the year and it's specifying the exact dates. And so this is only displaying it. I would have to add additional code to make it so that a change in this calendar control would make a change in the underlying text field that contains the actual dates. I hope that this video was helpful. 
For more information, you could visit Logical Developers or the forums or knowledge base at ironspeed.com. Thanks for watching.